All right, finger tip push-ups. How do we get to the point where we can do this? Make sure your wrists are already semi-warmed up. I have a video on how to do that, but we're gonna hop straight into it. First, we're gonna start with wrist push-ups. So you can start down on your knees if you've never done these before. And you're gonna make sure the inside of your elbow is facing forward. So inside my elbows are facing forward. My arms are not buckled. Push them out, fingers forward, and then I'm just going to lift my palms off the ground, just like this. So right here, the balls of my hands, whatever these are called, are staying on the ground. And I'm basically just bending my fingers and pressing my hand into the ground. So push just like this. As that feels easier, you can go into a full push-up position. Start with three sets of 10 and begin. Next, we're gonna do more wrist push-ups, but now we're gonna do it with fingers facing out. So again, you can start down your knees if these are new. You're gonna push, lift your palms off the ground. Notice how uh, my fingers are staying on the ground. Again, I'm pushing this part of my hand where you get calluses into the ground. And as that feels easier, you can move your knees back, go into full push-up position. Do three sets of 10 wrist push-ups with your fingers facing out and begin. And the final variation, fingers together. This is the hardest variation. Start down on your knees, fingers facing each other. And push, lift your palms off the ground, just like so. Three sets of 10 and begin. Now we're gonna start getting into some fingertip action. So go ahead and go into a push-up position. If you wanna be safe, I recommend keeping on your knees, especially if you're new to this. And you're basically just going to go to fingertips on one side, then the other, then the other, then the other. It's not too difficult, so then you can start experimenting in a full push-up position. Boom, 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 boom. So what I recommend keeping your fingers wide. Sometimes what I see is people will go like this and make it really tall. Spread them out. Make sure you're covering as much surface area as you can, just like this. So not like this, spread it out like that. The majority of the weight is going to be on your thumbs and your, your pointer finger and your middle finger. Your ring finger and pinkies are just kind of there for stability, but just keep in mind, you want to keep a wide circle covering some surface area. So go ahead, do 10 on each side. Three sets and begin. All right, now we're gonna get into some more advanced stuff right here. Now we're gonna go on both hands at the same time. So you can start on your knees and then you're gonna push up to fingertips back down. So I'm pressing my fingers into the ground, lifting my thumbs up, then putting my thumbs down. So that's what I'm doing right here. So I'm not hopping, going to fingertip. I'm simply pressing my fingers in the ground, lifting my thumbs up, pushing those down and back, just like so. And as it gets easier, you can go into a full push-up position, just like so. Three sets of 10 and begin. All right, you've made it this far. It is time for some fingertip push-ups. So go on your fingertips. You should be comfortable on your fingers, although your fingers might be feeling tender right now. Start on your knees, go down, push back up, down, push back up. Remember keeping wide fingers, just like so, not being super tall, keeping them wide. If you feel like you can't do fingertip push-ups on your knees yet, that's what those progressions are for. Go as far as you can into the progressions, keep working those, and you will eventually get fingertip push-ups. How often should you work this? As often as you can. If you really wanna get it, do this three, four, five times per week at minimum, I'd say three times per week, and you'll be able to do fingertip push-ups. And the benefit of these is it's actually injury prevention for your wrist because there's no muscles in your fingers, it's all in your forearm. So it's good if you wanna have stronger wrists, stronger forearms, less odds of injury while working calisthenics. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments.